Alright, this is our second mission, and I've changed the squad a bit, so only Daniela is carried over from the previous mission. Uh, the rest are new recruits. We have Anna Harron, Dan Marshall, and William Cross. And I'm doing that because everyone from the previous squad has now got a class, they've all leveled up once. And in the early missions, you don't really need specialists, you're, you're like just general rookies are fine. And later on, it's really useful to have a bunch of rookies who have already leveled up and actually got like picked a class and have abilities now. So I'm going to level up people early on, rather than relying on doing it later when like people maybe die. <laughs> and um, Danielle is coming from the old squad because it's good to have one specialist, and also she did one less mission than those guys because all the others were in the tutorial mission. So a mission is a... I'm not going to try and talk over that. <laughs> a mission is to rescue some important VIPs for somebody. The briefing will tell us. France is sending an urgent mission request. <laughs> but I'm going to let you read it for yourself. Um, yeah, locate the VIP, protect the VIP. It all costs just a high value asset. Generic, important dude. Uh, commenters, several commenters pointed out that when I have a sniper close to the enemy, I should have them switch to the pistol, which is both more accurate at close range. Van Dorn and his entourage were caught in an explosion that decimated a nearby bridge, and we're picking up hostiles converging on the area. We need you to confirm Mr. Van Dorn is still alive and bring him back safe before the whole place is overrun. New objective received. Hey, friendlies over here. Uh, oh, do I have to control them as well? I don't want to. I want my squad. Okay, uh, must be safe up there because those dudes are there, so I'll just dash the dude over. There's a team here William can go. Right? He ran up ahead to find one of our men who got caught in the blast when these freaks hit the bridge. We're in no shape to take these things out. If you can go grab Van Dorn, we'll get you back to your aircraft. Van Dorn ran into danger to save one of their men. I thought it was like a politician or something, but that sounds way too heroic. Uh, okay, Dan Marshall, where are you going to go? I think you should also run. There's not much point in being cautious right now. Pretty confident there's not going to be any aliens attacking us in this actual immediate area. Um... So Anna could go over there, but Daniela's closer. Where else can Anna go? Anna can go up here. And Daniela can go up here. Cover all the bases. Generally, Daniela should hang back, I guess. Let's use... Ooh, what? what? Why does it think I want to fire? I didn't say that. Do I just click on my dude? Why can't I click on that guy? Isn't he one of mine? <laughs> I don't understand. Why is... Okay. Couldn't select William for some reason. Um, now we should be more careful advancing. I think I'll probably use Anna because she can get to a good place without using up her turn. Nothing there. Dan could go somewhere up here, maybe? Yeah, he should go here, I think. Ah. The alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. Right, so don't blow it up. Luckily, Nick is not on this mission, so she won't be tempted. William can't really get anywhere all that good. I suppose now that we know that thing's here, he could go over here to also get a line of sight on it. And then Daniela definitely wants to get a good shot off on this. So I think she should go there. Yeah, she can see it from there. Oh, but she can't fire with this on the same turn. So let's try switching to pistol. I hope that doesn't take up a move. No. Okay, 55% to hit. Might as well. One damage. Right, that's why you don't usually use the pistol. I guess maybe it does more damage at close range? Because <laughs> one is completely pathetic. It's literally not worth doing. Uh, okay. Dan's gonna take a shot. Nice. 
I should have ended him do that first, shouldn't I? No, he's got moves left. William does. I think he should probably... Can't get to any particularly great cover, so he should just go into Overwatch. And then Anna does. Can she... She can actually get down there. That might be worth doing. A little bit risky, but... We are supposed to be rescuing someone, so we shouldn't take too much time. Alright, nothing eventful happened on their turn. They wasted it. They squandered their turn. Um, probably lead with Anna again. Over there would be good. Because that's where the target is. Yep, I'm going to do that. You the ops team? Get over here! Okay, so the target can see us. Mm, I think that's the same objective, isn't it? <laughs> First one was locate him, second one was approach him. But still, like, we already had the arrow. Still just getting towards the arrow. Oh, this is quite awkward because no one else can make it to cover. Um, let's see where Daniela can get to. Also, nowhere good. But maybe if she runs up here and then if she sees somebody, and I can shoot at them. No, no enemies. Which is actually good news. Um, might as well have Dan rush down here. And then William over here. Oh, we have an enemy. We couldn't have shot him this turn though. And I can maybe throw a grenade. With the most awkward throwing interface in the world. That's not a million miles from working, but no. She's just going to watch. Is that car on fire? I mean, I know it is, but I wonder if it's like actually going to explode. Get down here! Not fair if I have all the fun. Who is this guy? <laughs> he has a bizarre attitude to his his um situation. I don't know if that. Why is it labeling that? Is it telling me to get there? Maybe not. Right. Daniela can... She can actually get all the way there. And presumably his location will be safe. So she might as well do that. And she might spot some more enemies that other people will shoot at. Yep. <laughs> I'm still breathing. But I can't say the same for a lot of my boys. Let's get out of here before any more of those things show up. <laughs> That's happening while you're talking. I outfit you're from. But I haven't seen gear like that before. Commander, we should get the VIP back to the sky range. Yeah, I understand. Objectives updated. So, I guess it's tr actually telling us that we don't need to attack the enemy. Which is weird, but I guess that's okay. If I can't see that grey from here, I wouldn't be able to see them from there either, right? I could run up there and do it, but I don't know if it's actually necessary. So Van Dorn is now a person I can control, and he should just run as far as he can. He actually ought to run over this, like, this method, this route, because I don't want him to be exposed to any Overwatch, which the aliens might have set up. So Daniel is alone down there now, but that's okay. I think I might as well, oh, actually Dan can shoot from here. Nice, 65%. <laughs> it's the worst 65%. Uh, can anyone else... Well, if Dan could shoot from there, then it stands to reason William would be able to shoot from there. 65%. Critical 65%. The best 65%. And then... Anna's still got moves. She doesn't need to use them for anything, though. Um... VIP's over there. I think she could probably just... Maybe she should stay there and be an Overwatch. Strike one. We've got a wave of X-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. Eyes up? Well, that's awkward. Luckily, Anne is an Overwatch. Oh, come on! <laughs> that's not a difficult shot. Alright, so I guess everyone 
can shoot that guy. Um, but they should probably get to cover first if they can. And I would say that is good cover. And also gets him in close range. Oh, he's in Overwatch. I forgot about that. Sorry, William. <laughs> Luckily, Overwatch seems to be just miss mode. Now, surely that is a good percentage. Yep. Might even be too close, because... <laughs> right in the face. There's that gas cloud, but I think we're safe. Yeah. Okay. We get out of here alive. I just hope I get another shot at these bastards. He's pretty oh, macho. I think... Oh, I guess he's... Is he? He's talking like he's the leader of this squad. Oh, he is, he is actually in military fatigues. I think the last one of these missions I did was rescuing a politician, so I just assumed they all were. Um, okay, let's see where we can get the VIP to, and then see where best to move troops to protect him. I actually kind of think that hiding from this direction is probably wisest. Because there are enemies in this direction, but they're so far away they're never going to be a threat. And then if we just get... And they're up there... She'd go the other way and just cover the bases. Then might as well go here. Daniela. Don't really know, but maybe there-ish? Oh, there's Overwatch. I'm not gonna swing. Oh shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! Uh, sorry, Daniela. <laughs> I didn't know either of them were in Overwatch. I certainly didn't know both of them were in Overwatch, and I definitely didn't know that both of them being in Overwatch could kill someone in one turn from full health. That was that was a tactical misstep. <laughs> so glad I brought the veteran to uh, look after the whole squad. All right, Dan's in trouble. He should move over here. Right, I need to get better at spotting Overwatch, don't I? <laughs> but this dude's out of cover now. This ought to be an easy kill. Uh, do I have to control? I just wish I could have done no. more for my people. Oh, oh shut up. Let's get you to that side of that car. Let's get Anna backing you up. Probably the same place. And William should go back, but not through that poisonous gas cloud, I would say. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Who now? From all the way over there? And now there's a new one, maybe? Or is that just showing me that he's mind controlled? Or psych boosted or whatever? The parameters of this mission have not been clear to me at times. It was looking bad out there. I might not have made it if you didn't show up. I owe you one. Seriously. I wouldn't be here without your help. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if that wasn't true, there'd be no point in us coming. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate Oh now we have to kill them anyway. Oh for fuck's sake, I didn't know I had to kill them anyway. I would have played much more cautiously. I thought we were trying to race to get him out. Oh, Christ, I've got to go back there now. Oh, this is a total fuck up. Um. Boy. Yep. Got to do that. And then spend his turn reloading, I think. Is that all it gets you? Oh, no. We switched to a different person. Um, ah, so I've lost my moxie now. I don't want to rush in because I keep getting hit by Overwatch. So he should go there and just do Overwatch. And now Anna should come back as well. She can afford to run because she's not going into danger. Awesome! And did actual damage for once. Oh, 
Oh my god! <laughs> Who was that? That was Dan Marshall, shit. <laughs> oh man. This is... I don't remember it being this hard this early. Maybe this is because when I last played I didn't intentionally take inexperienced people on a mission. Uh, I guess. Well, I want to run out to a better position, but I never see the Overwatch marker, so even though I can't see any indication that that person's an Overwatch, they might be. Actually, let's do... Two males and neither of them have any good to run, anyway. He... Actually, I won't have him fire because he's low on ammo. And I can fire. See if that's enough. It is! And that means William might as well reload. Can't get anywhere good in one turn. Seem to remember that place had a good vantage point. So might as well dash. He didn't see any hostiles, did he? Well, and I can't get anywhere good. She might as well go over there. They're just going to climb this ladder. That's good. Unless they get too close. Oh no! William's panicked! Oh god. <laughs> if he shoots Anna, we're in trouble. He's got so little health that I can actually kill him. <laughs> That's one of the things I could do right now, is just kill him before he panics and shoots anyone else. But I think it's better if we don't do that. And... I mean, actually, Anna can move out of the way and still take a shot at the alien. As long as they're not on Overwatch. Yep, that's going to be better than if William does panic. Hopefully he'd attack the alien because the alien's nearer. And hopefully, too, he wouldn't kill Anna if he does attack. Uh-oh. He might not get the chance to panic. <laughs> okay. William Cross is dead. Sorry. I think... Just got a fire, really. Can't afford any more. Fuck ups. Oh god, that was a bad shot to miss. Because she's got to reload next turn. Oh my god, she's taking four damage. Daniela had a medkit, by the way. That's no use to us now, but... It's got to be grenade. Oh no, don't blow up your own car. I think that's got to be the safest way to do it. Okay. <laughs> Executed to the numbers. <laughs> it was a by the book. Perfect execution. <laughs> oh, just lost three. Yeah, I would say that's poor. That's as many as you can lose without actually failing. Oh, God. Vengeful Blade. Well, mixed results on that one. <laughs> <laughs> the only, the sole survivor of that mission is wounded for eight days. Everyone else is dead. Everyone died with two kills. That's nice, in a way. Sorry, Dan. Sorry, William. Sorry, Daniela. That was a complete clusterfuck of mismanagement and terrible tactics. Join me next time. <laughs>